It's Mark Wiens here. I am in Yangon, Myanmar, and I am at a really famous restaurant called Min Lan, which is really famous for serving seafood, it's mostly seafood dishes from the area of Rakhine State, which is kind of along the western, um, western uh, coastline of Myanmar. Oh. Thank you. It was quite a task to narrow down the menu to decide what to order, but finally chose chose the chosen. These are beautiful. Just look at that garlic caked up on there. Try to take off the head first. Oh, there's the oil. And let me just peel this guy now, but I'm gonna give him a dip first in the sauce. This sauce is supposed to be really famous, as well as green chili sauce. I need a lot of it on there. Okay. Mm. It's just cooked perfectly. It's not overdone. And that sauce. That's like a green chili garlic salty sauce. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then this one is pieces of squid fried with what looks, looks like a ton of garlic as well. And that smells outstanding. Mm. It's so garlicky. And it tastes like the garlic is like caramelized onto the squid. It literally tastes like garlic candy stir fried on a high fire uh, with squid. That's delicious and I got some kind of a noodle salad here and rakai noodle okay so this is a rakai noodle dish and it's a dry with soup soup is served on the side mm. it's kind of cold and it um, has a fishy taste to it but really good that has like a, a dry fish flavor to it. Okay, I'm going in for this crab. It's So it's like two full crabs. Looks like there's cucumber in here, there's onions, looks like an egg, cilantro, chilies, herbs, carrots, a medley of different ingredients up in here. Oh yes. Oh, look at that beauty. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. Oh, that is delightful. The crab is just 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 sweet and creamy and then that sauce is just uh I really like it because it's not oily, um, but it's just a spicy, sour, uh, rich sauce. And very tasty indeed. Like the meat is just falling out of the shell. Mm. Oh, crab is one of my favorite things in the world. Okay, and this one is a palm fret that I ordered. It doesn't look oily at all. But the fish is, I think, is fried, and then just looks like a tomatoey onion um, and and bell like bell pepper sauce. There we go. Oh yeah, it's just hot and steaming below. Okay. Oh, tomatoey and chili and. It's salty, and then with that fried fish. Oh man, that's fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mm. It almost has like a burnt, a burnt tomato -y flavor to it. Okay, and this one is a rakai salad and it just is covered in sesame seeds, both white and black sesame seeds. 
and then it looks like a vegetable and then mushrooms. And all of a sudden the, the sun has come out from the clouds so it got really bright all of a sudden. But that salad almost tastes like Japanese to me. It tastes almost like a, I don't know if it's dressed in sesame oil, um, but it almost has like a, like a fresh, a little bit of oil dressing, but it's not a strong flavor. But then the, just the, the vegetable and the mushrooms, and then those toasted sesame seeds are what really gives it, give it, gives it its flavor. So I'm eating away. The food is wonderful. Um, I love the flavors. They use a lot of tomatoes, a lot of onions, and a lot of garlic. And the dishes are not sweet, but they have a nice spice to them. And just a really nice mixture of fresh ingredients. Oh, the drumstick. <laughs> I think about 4.30 we got here, 4.30 p.m. Uh, but it's just picking up business as I've been sitting here and I, I have a seat right kind of at the, the entrance doorway. So a strategic eating position. Wow, that was, that was tough, but we managed to finish it off. They gave us two different desserts, a plate of fruit, fresh fruit, and then some kind of a yellow jelly-like dessert, which I have no idea what it is. Mm. It's a little bit sticky and chalky, but at the same time, it's kind of light and fluffy too. It's almost a little bit cottony, but not in a bad way. In a good way, it's like it's like cottony pudding that really has a beautiful coconut um, flavor to it. A plate of fruit. What a way to end a meal. I'm incredibly satisfied. That was my kind of a seafood meal feast. Uh, that was my first time to ever try Rakhine food, so that was a great experience. Huge thank you to all of you who gave me this restaurant suggestion. I had an awesome experience here in Yangon, so thank you. And if you're ever in Yangon, be sure to check out Minlan for seafood. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. You can show that real fast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Jesus de Mare. Jesus de Mare. So the sun, the sun just came out from behind the clouds, and they're so nice here that he opened an umbrella for me. That is very kind. Very kind. But that. I love you to tell. Staff here are so nice and well that was a burp. That was a that was definitely a, a crap burp that I just had. 